We've got a new Fast 9 trailer out, so it's time for a quick reaction video. OMG, they're going to space. OMG, Han comes back as a sniper assassin. OMG, these magnet things are a major theme of the movie. OMG, not only Sean and Earl from Tokyo Drift, but also Twink. <laughs> for real, they need to slow down on their trailers. This franchise reveals way too much in its trailers, going back to at least Fast 7. Why spoil the Han reveal and the space plane reveal? Save something, this little tease right here of Dom's kid playing with the space shuttle would have been enough. Save the actual reveal for later. They do always save something, but I'm still complaining because they usually save something bad and spoil the good stuff. Like in Furious 7, they spoil the plane drop, but save the CGI nightmare final chase. Here's Han saying, how y'all want to play this? Totally meta. Love it. The movie's playing at its own theme. Like how does the movie want to play Han being not dead anymore? One thing I am interested in is this. We see Dom locking Letty away and going back to the bad guys, giving himself up. But we see Han is back while Dom is with the team. We also see that Han doesn't get back until after some action has gotten going. So my question is this. Is this movie three hours long? Action gets started, Han comes back, lands with Dom and the team, Dom gets captured, Dom gets away, rejoins the team before the finale. It would take three hours to do all this. Or is it what I'm thinking? Which is that the Dom capture is part of the finale. Meaning we get our first Fast and Furious cliffhanger. Dom captured and in peril at the end. Can't wait for Fast 10. Hope that's where they go with it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. It's all I've got. See you next week. Drive fast, die slow.